Howdy swim fans, welcome to another episode of Whiteboard Wednesday and on today's episode I'm telling you guys why you should swim every single day. Yup, you heard it right, every single day. If you're new to the channel, welcome to my swim pro where we share the latest and greatest in technique and training to help you improve your performance and health. Now before we get right into the 10 reasons why you should swim every single day, I want you guys to let me know in the comments why you love swimming. Just let me know in the comments what is your favorite thing about the sport of swimming, if you swim for fitness or competition, mental clarity, whatever your reason for swimming, let us know in the comments. We would love to hear your perspective. Now let's get right into it. The first reason is because it's a total body workout. That's why you should swim every single day. It's amazing for your body. We know that the water is 800 times more resistive than air and because of that, every single muscle in your body, all the different energy systems are being engaged. And because that water is so dense and you have to do so much physical labor to go through the water, it is a total body workout. Make sure you check out the whiteboard Wednesday I did. What happens to your body when you swim? We talk about all about the different muscle groups and energy systems. Check it out, linked in the description. The second reason you should swim every single day is because it'll actually improve your flexibility. Now swimming is a little bit different than other kinds of physical activity in that because you're in the water, you're essentially stretching out your body every single time you do the stroke. If you think about freestyle, every time your fingertips enter the water and you reach and you extend, you're literally stretching out your body and no other sport actually gives you this opportunity to improve your flexibility, range of motion. And that's another reason why swimming is so good for your body. You get to bend your body in ways that you can't do. If you think about like doing a flip turn, you're actually doing a somersault in the water and if you swim you know, a thousand or two thousand meters, you're literally doing up to a hundred somersaults, which is amazing. Even if you don't do a flip turn when you swim, if you touch the wall and you turn to the other side, you're twisting and turning your body in ways that you would not do on land for most people. So that's another reason why swimming is a fantastic health benefit. And you also get that swimmer's body, right? This flexibility and this stretching. You know, swimmers are normally on the longer, leaner side of things, and that flexibility is a result of swimming. And the more you do it, the more flexible you're gonna get. Swimming is also a great form of cardio. Now, what do we mean by cardio? Cardio is short for cardiovascular, and you engage the cardiovascular system. Again, check out that whiteboard Wednesday, what happens to your body when you swim. Because we know that the water is so resistive and you have to engage so many different muscles, swimming is actually more of an aerobic activity. It's gonna increase your heart rate. It's not gonna spike it all the way to its max, but it's gonna elevate your heart rate. And because it's low impact and other things we'll talk about, it allows you to do it over a longer period of time and therefore it's an aerobic activity. And it's an activity that's aerobic that you can do every single day. There are other sports that are aerobic and other forms of physical fitness that you can do over a period of time, but you're not able to do them every single day like you can in swimming. And those other sports would be something like running or maybe even weightlifting, where it's a more high intensity, it's maybe not as much cardio, but it's so high impact that you can't necessarily do it every single day. And also when we're talking about cardio, we're talking about your heart, your lungs, that cardiovascular system, and that energy system and those body parts are really what drive the human body in general, right? It's the heart that's beating you know, a billion times in your lifetime, and swimming is an amazing form of fitness because you are actively engaging those specific muscle groups and energy systems more so than a lot of other different forms of fitness. And we talked about low impact, that's the fourth reason. Swimming is low impact, meaning you're not putting an excessive grind on the body in an, in an individual muscle itself or joints or ligaments, all those things are not being impacted as high to as high of a degree as something like running or weightlifting or even cycling, right? You're not impacting the body so much but you're doing high repetition. So, you know, injury prevention is really important. Check out the link in the description below. Some different dryland exercises that you can do out of the water, which are not necessarily swimming, but if you complement them to your swimming, it'll allow you to get a little bit more strength and conditioning and prevent you from injury from this high impact, high repeat. Um, swimming is also great because the water itself is zero gravity, meaning pretty much anyone can do it and anyone can benefit from this zero gravity and low impact elements of the sport. Now, number five is it improves your sleep. Oh, really, that sounds great. How does it improve your sleep? Well, if you swim every single day or whenever you do swim, you're actually able 
to engage those total, that total body, engage all these different muscle groups. And what I like to call is you're equally tired. So literally every part of your body is tired to some degree and that'll put you to sleep a little bit easier. It'll also increase your metabolism which will allow you to burn more calories. I didn't list that as one of the top things, but if you swim every day, like any form of fitness, you're going to burn more calories and you're going to increase your metabolism by engaging more muscle groups, which is fantastic if you're trying to lose weight or just maintain weight and you like to eat food, like myself. Um, and also, by putting you to sleep, it makes you more productive. So if you get a more consistent number of hours per sleep per night, it'll make you more productive in your general life, which is fantastic. Number six, it builds character. And I'm not talking about digging five foot holes uh, if, you know, if you know what I'm talking about, give me a like in the, in, the, in the video. But it develops a routine, confidence, and mental strength, right? That's how swimming can build character. If you can do it consistently, you're gonna build that mental strength. And the benefit of swimming every single day is that you don't have to make a decision. So what does that mean? If you ask yourself, should I swim today or should I not swim today? The answer is always yes, you should swim. So you don't have to make a decision, it's sort of like wearing the same shirt every day. I don't recommend that. But you don't have to make a decision if you're going to swim every single day because you know the answer. It's gonna be yes, I'm swimming every single day. Number seven, it makes you feel better because sometimes you just don't feel like getting in the water. And if you swim in a cold pool in the morning especially, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You're sitting in bed, you feel really warm, the buzzer goes off, you're like, do I need to swim today? I swam yesterday or the day before. You know, I have a lot of things that I gotta do today, I'm pretty tired. But you will never regret after the swim and there's no better feeling after you complete that swim. And so if you're struggling in the morning about getting up, you wanna hit the snooze button, you don't wanna get in that freezing pool in the morning, just remember how you're gonna feel after the swim and the reward and the benefit after, and it'll make it so much easier. So it definitely makes you feel better and number eight, it's a lifelong fitness activity. Swimming, unlike other forms of fitness, you can literally do from cradle to grave. Until you die, you can swim every single day unafflicted. And so it's the only workout that you can actually do like this. So even if you have, you know, maybe you have a disability, an injury, if you're pregnant, you can do swimming in, there really isn't an excuse you could come up with to someone couldn't swim. Now there are exceptions of course, but for a majority of use cases, there really isn't a reason why you couldn't swim and it's something that you can do every single day at any age all the way through your entire life, which is pretty awesome. Smash that like button if you haven't already because swimming is a lifelong sport. Number nine, you can escape from the world. Ooh, what does that mean? Well, swimming is kind of like meditation, right? If you think about it, when you swim, if you put your face in the water, there's literally no distractions from what you're doing. You can escape from the world and you can find zen, you can find your own happy place. And that's a, that's a big reason why a lot of people like to swim because it's a great form of meditation. You can sort of be on your own. It reduces stress, reduces anxiety. For me personally, the ability to escape from email notifications on your phone, right? You can escape, even if you swim with a smartwatch, right? Turn off the notifications and just be one with the water and be one with the workout you're doing. Even if you're following a structured workout, whether it's in the My Swim Pro app or anything else, you can still just focus on that one thing and not worry about anything else for that time that you're in the water. And that escape from the world, from the concrete jungle, is something that's really unique to swimming compared to other forms of fitness because you're actually encased 360 degrees in this zero gravity medium that is water. And number 10, it puts a smile on your face. Give us a big smile heart you know, emoji in the, in the comments, but it makes you happier, and this is proven by science. Wow, science. Swimming releases endorphins, right? This is like a legal drug that makes you happy. So there's a lot of ways you can make yourself happy. Why don't you just go for a swim, release those endorphins, the feel-good chemicals in your body, and these are like the legal drugs. Also, make sure you check out what happens to your body when you swim. Linked in the description below. I mentioned it before, but in this video, we talk about why your brain loves swimming and a lot of it has to do with these endorphins that your body is reducing it is the legal drug and if you haven't already in the comments let us know why you love swimming so we've talked about why you should swim every single day and the fact of the matter is you don't have to swim every single day whether you swim two times per week three times per week totally fine whatever you do figure out the routine that works for you and make sure you leave us in the comments why you love swimming. Big shout out to Nora, who is a member of the My Swim Pro community. She has swum over 200 days continuously. So there are people out there and members of our community who are swimming every single day. We'll leave a link to her article talking about why and how she swims 
every single day. She's following it in the My Swim Pro app. If you haven't already checked out the My Swim Pro app to see all the greatest training plans, workout ideas, training log, videos, analytics, it's all there linked in the description. In the My Swim Pro app, we actually have something called the workout of the day. The workout of the day is amazing because it's a new workout. If you're looking for workout ideas, every single day across three different skill levels. We've got beginner, intermediate, and advanced. The beginner workout level is about 1,000 meters. Intermediate is about 2,000 meters. And the advanced is about 3,000 meters. So you get a new workout every single day. Make sure you let us know in the comments why you love swimming. This was Whiteboard Wednesday. We hope to see you guys in the pool. Happy swimming.